नमस्ते इट्स मी राम सरन उप्रेती फ्रॉम सरलाई नेपाल ऑन द 23rd ऑफ मे 2021 आई बिकेम द फर्स्ट पर्सन फ्रॉम माय डिस्ट्रिक्ट सरलाई नेपाल टू सेट फुट ऑन द समिट ऑफ माउंट एवरेस्ट आई सैट देयर फॉर अ मोमेंट एंड गेज्ड आउट ओवर द ब्यूटीफुल प्लैनेट दैट वी लिव ऑन प्रोबेबली दिस इज द फर्स्ट व्लॉग यू आर वाचिंग ऑन YouTube thinking back now i ask myself again and again how i did it when so many odds were stacked against me i feel like i'm dead wait a sec let me check the small weather window that usually allow people to summit mount everest was dangerously unreliable this year <laughs> on top of that the deadly covid pandemic did not spare climbers from its slopes i didn't know at that time but now i'm convinced that i too was a victim of covid-19 but let me start at the beginning and give you a blow by blow account of my second everest attempt this is without a doubt my costliest vlog to date good morning from lukla it's 14th april 2021 and uh, my everest expedition starts now uh, i just met up with my guy right here let me ask him what he says keep up are you coming yes sir yes i am <laughs> okay, I'm so excited, Kipa. Let me introduce. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing very well, and I'm very happy to do it with uh, with Dai. Okay, <laughs> let's rock. Yeah, cheers. That first day, we walked to the village of Monju. I felt great, truly excited. My entire being was focused on this climb. Secretly, I've been dreaming about this for years. I've thought about it. I've talked about it, but honestly, I never truly believed that I, a skinny young man from the lowlands of Nepal, would ever get the opportunity to climb to the top of the world. Walking in the paradise. Wow. The next morning, April 15th, Kipa and I entered the highest national park in the world, Sagarmatha National Park. Several hours later, we arrived in Namchi Bazaar, the gateway to the Everest region. It's customary to stay in Namchi for two days, acclimatizing before climbing higher. That first evening in Namchi, I started feeling unwell: headache, fever, diarrhea, and runny nose with a bit of blood mixed in. My muscles ached, and extremely tiredness overcame me. I've trekked to Everest Space Camp many times, and never have I felt as tired as I did that evening. It was weird for me. The next day, April 16th, I rested all day trying to recover my strength. However, resting didn't seem to help. It was an altitude sickness or acute mountain sickness. I know what that feels like. Whatever it was. it was strange to me i took paracetamol for pain and fever on the morning of april 17th kipa and i left namche and trekked to the pangboche i was hoping that i would recover my strength but more we walked the more on well i became my sickness whatever it was weakened me severely Kipa had to help me with my backpack. He took several kilograms of my gear and stuffed them into his pack. On April 18th, we trekked from Pangboche to Lobuche. Again, Kipa helped me with my pack. When we reached Lobuche, I was still feeling quite sick. I continued taking paracetamol for the pain and fever. On the morning of April 19th, We hiked from Lobuche to base camp, arriving there around 11 a.m. I was so excited that my pain and fever felt less critical. 
our expedition team, the cook, helpers and everyone were there to welcome us. The best thing they did was to affix my tent right away so I could rest. I was still feeling extremely tired. Later that day, I consulted to the base camp doctors. They suggested I came to base camp too fast and only needed rest. They thought it might be high altitude sickness. Hey. Hey. Arrived here at the base camp, 19th oh. April 2021. Howdy. Yeah. Everest expedition starts now. Let's go. Good afternoon. Uh, it's uh, 19th, 19th April 2021. Uh, the rituals has been done. The puja is done now. Uh, all the teams are here, and then from tomorrow onwards, they are gonna bring the tents and foods to the camp two and camp three. So the official climbing starts from now. So next we will be heading for camp two to set up our tent and everything for our stuff. So we'll heading the after tomorrow. We are planning the heading the after tomorrow. Okay. So till tomorrow we'll have a good rest. After three days in base camp, I still felt terrible. I went to the base camp clinic operated by HRA. The doctors there told me I had pneumonia and they gave me antibiotics. After two more days in the base camp, I still didn't feel any better. On April 24th, I dragged myself down to the village of Tingbuche, thinking I would recover much quicker at the lower altitude. I stayed there for two nights, and then on the third day, I visited their local doctor. The doctor thought I was getting better. He suspected that I might have had COVID-19. He gave me lots of medications to take for the next few days, and then said I could return to the base camp slowly. Great news, I started feeling better. So, I slowly headed back to base camp. It took me two days to get there. By the time I reached base camp, I felt well and ready to climb Mount Everest. Second May 2021, and Kipa and I are ready to go to Camp One now. Yes, it's four o'clock. We are uh, hoping to arrive there at uh, ten, let's 10 say. Ten or eleven. Ten or eleven. Okay. Yes. Then we'll be continuing to going to you camp know two. Camp Two and Camp Three. 
And the newly back here. We are, we are having rest day in camp, camp two, two, yeah, yes. two more nights. Okay, yeah. let's go. Cheers. Cheers. We are almost halfway to camp one. So those are all the popping up from ice fog. Okay. You can see. So we have already crossed ice fall, right? Yes, now popcorn, popcorn popcorn area. We have already crossed ice fall in football ground, so yeah. now we are on the popcorn area. I see. So we are more than halfway. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Cheers. Even the inside of tents will get extremely hot. But on this day, the falling snow cooled the sun's rays, which made it quite comfortable for us. We stayed in our tents, cooked, ate, and rested. After seven hours of climbing, we arrived at Camp 1. Camp 1 is normally very hot because of the sun reflecting off the snow and ice. So yeah, how are you so feeling now, Dad? You doing good? Yes. Absolutely yes. good. Yes. You know what? We just passed this, uh, you know, Kumbo Ice Fall and uh, popcorn area, and now you can hear this the helicopter sound. There has been some accident. Some people got, you know, uh, actually Kumbo Ice Fall broke down, so. Some people got uh, injured, so the helicopter is looking for those people over there. You can hear this sound, right? Lucky that we passed this one, you know. It, this, this is the most dangerous part of this climb. Isn't it? This is the most dangerous part, right? It moves all the time. Oh. Two days ago, it happened also yeah, yeah. while we were, we were coming to the base camp, right? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. We are almost there to our camp on. Okay. So we're doing very well. Thank so you. far, so good. That's camp one. Yes, this is camp one. Not so far. Yeah. It is almost seven hours, right? It yeah. took us. Four o'clock we started. We just, uh, four and eleven. Yeah, yeah seven, seven hours. hours. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. This is good timing, I think. Yeah, it is very good time. We did very well here. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. We have arrived here at Camp One. It was seven hours hike. I mean, climb from base camp. I'm so thirsty. This is the first rotation, so I'm kind of tired. Anyway, now, Kipai is gonna cook some soup, right? 
soup, water. We're gonna kind cook, food. eat, <laughs> and sleep in this tent, you know? Yeah, this is tent. Okay, let's stay. Yes. You know what? Camp one is really hot. It's so hot. I'm sweating all in, you know? Completely wet actually. But this hot will dry my you know dress. Anyway, Kipa has gone to get the ice uh, snow and now we are gonna start cooking something and eat. Uh, we have nothing to do the whole day. Tomorrow morning we are gonna go to camp too so camp one is to just to rest, you know. what we do the whole day nothing <laughs> we just sleep we had our lunch we had a pack lunch and then uh, boil the water and uh, we had some dry food and we ate, we ate that too and it's really hot inside this tent and outside look at this outside okay it is snowing I think look The problem is to go to pee, you know. It's, it's snowing heavy outside and then the wind is quite Jake. strong too, right? Yes. So very difficult to go out. <laughs> <laughs> so due to buy, we don't, we don't have tea, we don't have water. <laughs> Controlling to drink water, you know. Oh my god. Do you want to see outside how it is? Yeah. Look at this. This is the outside. Good evening. It's five o'clock in the evening, and uh, the mountains are not visible because you can see these clouds. But the whole day it was snowing, and it was kind of a blizzard. But anyway, it was better than you know having a hot sun because it was it it would be too hot, and then I could have got headache. But this time. I didn't get the head up, headache. In 2019, when I was here, oh my god, my, my head was blasting. But now, I'm really enjoying. Ah, love the mountain climbing, you know. This is the camp one of Mount Everest. What are you doing, Kipa? Cooking soup, eh? Cooking soup, okay. Yes. He's almost, cooking soup. Almost, almost ready. We had tea, and now we are having soup. Yes. What are we eating in the evening? We have a uh, dry food, packet food. Dry food, packet food? Yeah. Oh, it's a luxury, man. Wow. Oh, good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> what soup is this, Kipa? Chicken soup. Okay. Chicken yep. soup. How nice. is it? Let me taste it. Mmm, yeah. nice one. Mmm. Yeah. Wow. Good, very good. <laughs> this is 6.30 in the evening. Look at the weather. Wow, everything is so visible, so clear. Good morning. It's nearly at o'clock. Uh, we had our breakfast and uh, everything is great. This camp one is paralyzed, man. Look at this. Oh my God. So beautiful. And uh, Kipa eh, is getting Hello. ready too. How are you, Kipa? Doing very well, eh? Good, good, good. Is everything clean inside? Nothing okay, yet. Okay, we have cleaned it. Set. Okay, it's perfect. Okay. So, are we ready to head towards Camp 2? Yes. Almost. Okay. We are going to Camp 2. Another three to four hours from here. This is the first rotation, so it takes longer time, you know. Second time I come, 
it will be faster, much faster. She went the way. No, cheers. Keep up. Cheers. That is Mount Everest. And you can see South Cole over there. Lotse. And Camp One. It's very short distance, but it takes a long time because the trail goes so, to the so many corners. You know what I'm realizing now? Climbing a mountain, climbing Mount Everest, it's not just about that top, you know. Every moment, look at this, you know, walking on this, this path with this many people, with these colorful tents, and having this beautiful view. And Nupse right there. Oh my God, look at everything, everything. This is a paradise, man. Camp to it's not so far from here on the bottom of this Everest. You can see some yellow tents. That's camp too. This helicopter is headed to camp two. You know, camp one to camp two looks really close and the trail is really easy. But still, camp one is 6,000 meters, camp two is 6,500 meters. There is a 500 meters elevation gain, but it doesn't look like that. And it's never ending, you know, walking, walking, walking. Camp 2 is there. It's uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. We started at 8 o'clock. We made it in 3 hours from one. Camp 1 to Camp 2. Uh, looks everything okay. 3 hours is a very good time to okay. get here. And then we are at our camp. You can see the blue one, our okay. tent. Over there. Over there, yeah. That one. Yeah, this is all the camp. Okay, so what's the plan for tomorrow? So tomorrow we'll have a rest. Okay, we are having Today rest day here. Rest. Nice have one. Have some sip energy, having some good food. Okay, that sounds yeah. good. Now the job is to drink coffee, or probably tea, have a soup, have a lunch, you know, then afternoon take a rest, and uh, just do nothing, you know, acclimatize the body. This is my acclimatization trip. Cheers. Ah, good, good afternoon. It's 12.30 in the afternoon and I'm waiting for my lunch. Uh, actually, you know what? It has started snowing. Looks like it's gonna snow the whole day. It's getting heavier and heavier. Anyway, nothing to do. Let's have lunch and I'm gonna take a rest inside the tent. Uh, it's all going great. Cheers. It is 3 o'clock in the afternoon and it is snowing at Camp 2 of Everest. Good morning. It's uh, 4th May 2021. Uh, 8.30 in the morning and I'm here at the Camp 4. Oh, sorry. Camp 2 and today is my acclimatization day so uh, what are you doing Kipa? So we are having rest full day here. Okay, are we going to go that way? Uh, we are going to hiking to the, the camp. Okay, so okay. we are going to go to camp uh, below camp 3? Yes, yes. Uh, probably the end of this camp 2, right? Yes. Okay, just let's, let's, let's go there after breakfast. I am going to just explore this area. Oh, everything is going great. I'm so happy. I'm so enjoying. Are you okay? 
Good. Are you enjoying? Very good. Okay, cheers. That's the way to country. You can see so many people lined up. I, I think they are going to touch Camp 3 right now because uh, it's not time to go to the summit, so. What are you cooking, Kipa? Dalbat. Dalbat power 24 hours. <laughs> okay, good one. It's snowing today too. It came to 4th May 2021. This is my acclimatization day. I have already walked all around here. Almost halfway to Camp 2. Camp 3 I mean. Okay, it's still good morning. You can see Camp 3 over there. See, so many people are going to Camp 3 now. <clears throat> which we are not doing today. Today's job is to come to this point and walk around this camp too. Tomorrow's job is to go to that point. You can see so many people lined up in that flat, you know, that vertical zone. That is camp, camp 3, 7,200 200 meters. Tomorrow we are headed to that point. What a weather! What a view! Oh my god! Good morning! It's uh, 8.30 in the morning, 5th May 2021. Uh, yesterday it was snowing the whole day and the whole night too. So this camp too is full, is completely white now. And, uh, but now it looks okay. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen today. Uh, we were planning to go to Camp 3. Let me ask with the keeper. Keeper? Oh, good what? morning. How are you? I'm doing very well. Eh? Okay, what's the plan today? So, we're having breakfast now. Okay. So, after breakfast, we're he heading to Camp 3 over here. Are we still going to Camp 3 there? Yes, yes, yes. I don't see anybody going there. Yeah, no one, but hopefully, after breakfast, then. 10 a.m. we will be Easter everyone. Ah, okay, Easter, okay. Yeah. Because of the Easter fall, no one is starting now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. it's because of the snow yesterday, yeah. nobody's starting, starting now? Starting now yeah. In a while they're going to start, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're gonna start okay, now, so yeah. we are going to have breakfast. And then after breakfast. And then after, after the breakfast, breakfast we are still continue. going to Camp 3, which is below, you know, inside the cloud now. You can't cloud, see it right yeah. properly. Yeah. Okay, keep up. Thank you. Yes. Cheers. You see that top is Lotse. Camp 3 is on the Lotse face there. And you see this ridge and you come to this Lutse. Near this 8,000 meters, 7,900 something meters. Camp 2 is very hot. You might wonder, how is it hot when I'm walking on this now? No oh, man, it is killing hot, so hot, it's so hot, it's a water break, how are you Kiba? Oh, very warm, very hot break, very difficult to move off. Okay, another few hundred meters, let's see, let's try, why not, it's hot, that's stopping us. Otherwise, we would have gone a bit further already. Anyway, let's see what happens. We're still headed to Camp 3. 
Okay, cheers. A few hundred meters to Camp 3. But it's midday. 12 o'clock. And then we are sweating like a pig, man. This is too hot. And because of this hot, we are sweating. And this sweat and this cold, you know, later on the cold wind will give us a headache, you know. I think uh, it's best to wait for the summit push, you know. I've anyway been to the balcony the last time and then this time also. I have no problem with altitude, so I can. I think I can do it. Do I? Can I do this? You can do it, sir. What? What's the problem? We have a only problem for the hot temperature. It is yeah. like a 40 de 45 degrees temperature. You're sweating. I, I can see that. It's too much sweating and very difficult to heading up. So due to by this kind of hot, so we can get headache. So we do not make our headache too much. Yeah. So now I think it's better to go back, to go right? Down first, yeah. Then we do directly. When we're heading for summit, yeah, okay. we do directly. Okay. Then let's go back to camp two. Yes. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> acclimatization. Yes. High climb. Cheers. 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 What a sunset and Lord say. Later this afternoon, 5th May 2021, weather is clearing up now. Good morning, it's a uh, 6th May 2021 after staying 4 nights on this high altitude camp 2 and you know almost touching camp 3 we are headed back to camp uh, base camp uh, and we will be waiting for summit push is that correct? yes is this the weather normal here? Weather will be sometimes will be normal like this. It's uh, called white out. White out. Yes. That means you can see nothing. nothing. It, it will be like this. Continue two three hours. Uh. Then very difficult to find the trail. Uh -huh. Not good. So then better to do continue on the way down. So uh, yeah. in this type of weather, people get lost. Lost. Yeah. Lost. Okay. Lost. Okay. By the way, we are in the middle of Kumbu Glacier and nobody is around and we cannot see anything even to see each other it's difficult because even in 10 meters distance i can't see him it's kind of scary you know anyway let's do it cheers it's 10 o'clock in the morning we started at six o'clock in the in the morning so it took us four hours to get back to the base camp. Okay, let's wait for a week or so to go to the top of the world. At the base camp, I looked on the internet for a good weather window for our summit attempt. The information from the internet weather service said May 16th would be the best weather at summit. So, we decided to leave base camp on May 11th to start our push to the summit. Good morning, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, 11th uh, May 2021 and we are at the base camp of Everest but uh, to, right now we are headed to camp 2 and we'll be staying there for a few nights then after that we'll be going to camp 3 and camp 4 and hoping to summit on 16th. Is that correct? Yes, that we're going to do 16th May for summit. Are we, are, 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 are we doing alright? Yeah, yes, very well. You are hopeful, right? So, yeah. I'm hopeful we'll do our too. best. And we'll have it. Continue. When okay. you, you will be summit. <laughs> okay, cheers, yes, cheers, cheers, cheers. We climbed directly to Camp 2 by passing Camp 1. A few climbers from some of the other teams said they had plans to summit on the 14th May. They told us the evening of 13th and the morning of 14th would be the best weather window. So Keepa and I decided to go for it.
how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm here at uh, Camp 2. You know what? Today it took me a little over 10 hours to get here from, you know, base camp. I'm not that happy with my steep speed today. But, uh, but I'm fine and then everything is good. I was hoping to arrive here at, uh, you know, within 8 hours, but it took me 10 hours. I don't know why I'm a bit weak today. Let's see what happens tomorrow. We didn't stay extra night at Camp 2. Instead, we climbed directly to Camp 3 on the morning of 12th. The conditions at Camp 3 were terrible. The temperature was minus 40 degrees Celsius and the wind exceeded 90 km per hour. We were lucky to survive that night. The next morning, we packed up and ran back down to Camp 2. I checked the weather condition to see if the 16th was still going to be good or not. There was a confusion about the weather amongst the other climbers. We couldn't find anyone going to the summit on the 16th. Kipa and I thought it would be stupid to go up there by ourselves. Good afternoon. It's, uh, what time is it, uh, Kipa? Oh, uh, it is... It's, one uh, okay, one, nearly 1.30. Uh, plan changed. We were supposed to go to the summit on the 16th, but uh, we heard that the weather isn't that great. So today we came from Camp 2 to Camp 3 today here. I could not shoot on this vertical zone because, you know, my GoPro could run away. So anyway, this is Camp 3. <coughs> and that way to <coughs> summit of Everest. <coughs> Good morning. It's... Uh, 5 o'clock in the morning, 13th May 2021. Why are we cooking inside Kipa? So, outside is very heavy wind. So, even not cook, we don't go outside anyway. So, that's why we cook inside. So, outside is very wind. So, all night during the night, we could not uh, sit here. You can see here, <laughs> heavy wind. So, okay. still there was heavy wind. So, we are waiting to stop wind to go south cold. Let's see. <laughs> Let's What's see. going on? <laughs> okay, cheers. 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 Hello, good morning. Come So, what's your feeling? So, actually, we can't go up because of the wind. So, wind here, more than 50, 60 per hour. Yeah, it is. It is more than 50. You can see lots of the wind. Because of the wind. Yes, so now we are going down, going, going down the camp and we can wait for weather window. Uh -huh. When weather will be good, then we will come again for some push, okay? Okay. Okay, cheers! Cheers! Good morning. It's 14th May 2021 and we are here at uh, Camp 2. Actually, we are supposed to climb on the 16th, right? Yeah, we are planning to summit on the 16th. But due to bad weather, we did not go up. So okay. not only us, everyone did cancel by the due to by the bad weather. So bad we, wind. so we are headed back to base camp. Right? Yeah, we are headed back to base camp today. And let's see. So we're waiting for another weather window for yeah. 21 or uh -huh. 22. Then we'll be back here. Okay, <laughs> that's the plan. That's the plan. See you on the way. Cheers. See you on the way. Cheers. Cheers. Hi, Good morning. It's 5.30 in the morning, 17th uh, May 2021 and we have already climbed half of the Kumbu Icefall. We started at 2.30 in the morning and headed to Camp 2 today. And this is our final push. So, I'm so excited. Hope everything goes well and we'll be submitting on the 20th morning, let's see. is not so far from here you know it's quarter past 10 o'clock and we have almost arrived at camp 2 last time it took me quite long but this time 
we made it in less than eight hours which is a good time i'm quite happy today i'm back on my ship cheers oh good morning good morning <laughs> uh what's the day today keeper today is uh, 19 okay 19th may 2021 Yes. And uh, we are headed to? Camp 3. Camp 3, okay. This is our final push, you know. And the weather looks good. As per our understanding, weather will be great on, on the 21. 21st morning. So, we are hoping to summit tomorrow night. Yes. Isn't that? Well, yes. Okay, are we all ready? <coughs> yeah, we are doing very well. <coughs> okay. So finally, we are fit and fine. Yeah. So we'll keep updating you. Continue. Yes, that's true. Cheers. Cheers, man. Good morning. It's uh, probably 10 o'clock or maybe it's 9, 9 o'clock, right? Yeah, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we. <coughs> Weather is getting better, right? Yeah. It's sun shining after two days. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Okay, good. Look at this vertical place, you know. This is Camp 3. A bit further than Camp 3, actually. Actually, we passed this glacier point, icefall point. Now we are going to that is yellow belt. And then furthermore. This is the vertical part of so Camp 3. Camp 2. And uh, you can see there. You can see yellow belt over there. We're almost there. Probably you can see Kipa. Oh, uh, Kipa, how are you? I'm doing very well. Okay, that is. We're on the way to Yellow Rock 11. Yeah, yellow Rock 11. Rock 11. Okay. Okay, that's good. Thank you, cheers. Good morning from Campo of Everest, South Goal. What is the height? So 7,980 meters. 7,980 meters. That is almost a death zone. 22 minutes. Okay, we came to this, <coughs> you know, camp yesterday. There was a horrible, horrible wind. Felt More like 70, 80, 70, 80 hours, yes. I can't believe that wind. And then we <laughs> did not eat anything yesterday. We didn't have water, we didn't have anything. My hands were frozen. Oh my God, we were suffering the whole night. But today, sun shining. It is the hope. Tonight we are going to climb Everest. This is a big chance because so many groups of the people coming to Camp Ho to climb Everest tonight. Everything is fine now. I'm happy. He's happy. Yeah, yeah. Sun shining. Everything is going well. Tonight we're gonna climb, are we? Yeah, are we? Cheers! Cheers! Kipa and I set up our tent in the freezing cold. It was an incredibly hard thing to do. Without a tent, we would surely die. We were able to affix our tent to the frozen ground. That night, we could not eat or drink. Our stove would not work in those brutally cold and windy conditions. I battled to stay awake the entire night. My hands and feet were beyond the pains of cold. Numbness covered my entire body. I felt the flame of my inner being slowly flickering away. 
Sleep would soon overcome me and death was sure to follow. I could feel myself freezing to death. The next day, May 22nd, I was still alive and the wind continued to blow. At 9 p.m. we left Campo and started our push to the summit. Fortunately, a few hours later the wind had eased quite a bit. The balcony to summit was the most amazing part of my expedition. It felt like I was climbing towards the heaven. Every step was unbelievably beautiful. The view was almost unexplainable. I experienced something beyond anything I could ever have imagined. It was like dreaming a beautiful dream. I could see almost half of the earth. I could see the curved line of the earth's horizon where it made the sky. To the east, I could see the sun's rays shooting up past the horizon and into the space. And with every step I took, the sun's rays bent further and further over the horizon towards me. May 23rd, 4.30 a.m. on the Hillary step. The moment when I thought, am I going to survive? I could see nothing. My goggles had steamed up. The vapor from my breath had steamed up the lenses and they were frozen over. I needed to see, otherwise I would die. Climbing trainer, and he made it he took me to the top of the world. Congratulations for your success. You. Yes. Uh, probably this is the first vlog you are watching on YouTube. Oh my God! Look at this world. Oh my God! I am losing my mind. Look at this. My dream of standing on the highest peak in the world was done. But the most difficult part remained. Going down is far more difficult and dangerous than you think. Keeper. Hi. Oh, this is nearly 9 o'clock in the morning. Oh, good morning. Uh, good morning. How are you? We submitted Everest. Yes. This is good. Now we are at the balcony. Yes. And I'm enjoying this view. Oh my goodness. This is just unbelievable, you know. Anyway, let's go back to South Campo, South Cole and eat something and go to Camp 2, okay? Okay, thanks. Cheers. We started at 9 o'clock in the evening yesterday, 22 May 2021. This morning, I think it was 5.15 or something, I have to check my photo. I didn't check the time, we submitted it. And now it's nearly quarter to 11 and we are back at the camp. Let's have something and we go to camp too. Kipa. Hello. 
What Almost time did we start yesterday? Night. Nine, Nine o'clock in the morning. In the night. <laughs> in the night, yes. Sir. And what time did we reach to the summit of Everest? 5.20. 5.20, right? In the morning, yes. Yes. And then? And then we get here at 10.30. 10 10.30, 10 right? That's Very good. good that means, wait a sec, let me check. I have photo here. Hello, good afternoon, day. Uh, not good afternoon, this is 11 o'clock. Oh, morning. sorry, good, 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 good morning. Good morning, still, okay? So, uh, how are you? How do you feel? You know what? Feels like I have nothing more left in my body. I feel like I'm dead. Yeah. No energy left, nothing at all. Yeah. Once I had this a cup of water, I'm getting back, I think. And you know what? Everest expedition is not a joke, guys. Yeah. It's definitely not a joke. It is really challenging. Yeah. Let me get back my energy. Okay, how will you... Go back to the camp too, okay? Yeah. We'll have a cup of juice. Yeah. And some fruit, then we'll go directly camp too, here. Okay. So we'll have a rest up an hour. Okay then. And after then, after that, we'll go after okay. some kind of... Some By the way, I understand why people die in Everest. Yes. You know what? They finished all energy. And then they could they not do. They arrived here late, so they yeah. have no more energy. More than 20 hours. Yeah. So they collapsed. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Okay, cheers. We are almost arriving at Camp 2. From Camp 4. Actually from the top of Everest, Sagarmatha, I think. Because this morning when we arrived there at 5.30, since then I've been climbing down, 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 down. Yesterday, 9 o'clock in the evening, and now, till now, I'm still walking. I'm so exhausted. You know, I'm taking this video to show how exhausted I am. You know, it's 7 o'clock in the evening. Oh my God, it's too many hours where I've been climbing. My legs are like, you know, shaky. My hands are so painful. Tomorrow, I, I cannot walk, but I have to climb back to base camp. I can talk to more, talk to you more tomorrow morning when I'm headed to uh, base, camp. base camp. Good morning from Camp 2. It's nearly 9.30 in the, in the morning and the uh, expedition is almost over because look, uh, the guys are closing the camp and uh, now we are headed back to base camp. The weather isn't that great but anyway we are going down so it's okay. I'm so happy to go down in a warm temperature, you know. Cheers. Something strange happened to me on the way down. The route between Camp Ho and the summit is known as the death zone. The trail is marked with the dead bodies. I had just walked past a frozen female body when I heard a soft voice say in Nepalese, Janira, which means in English, are you sure you want to go back? The dead body was talking to me. I thought, welcoming me to stay on top of the world forever. The voice was very clear. It frightened me, so I couldn't even look back at the body. Carefully, I kept moving. I could sleep at any time, and possible death waited at every step. On the morning of May 24th, I woke up with a feeling of big excitement. My entire body ached. But I had done it. I had climbed Mount Everest. At that moment, my pain and exhaustion were not important. We packed up our gear and climbed down to base camp, arriving safely that afternoon. My friend Dandy Sherpa, who organized this climb for me, passed away that morning from the COVID-19. It was a very sad moment for all of us. The next morning, May 25th, a helicopter flew a group of us down to Lukla. In Lukla, there was a plane about to leave to Kathmandu, so I jumped on board. Okay, finally Kipa and I have finished uh, our expedition to Everest. Yes. We successfully submitted Everest, now we are headed back to Lukla on a helicopter. After that, I don't know how I'm going to go to Kathmandu, but Kipa stays in Lukla, so it's fine. Yeah. Thank you, Kipa. That's my you pleasure, okay? Thank you so Thank much. You very good.
Hi again. Actually, when I arrived at uh, Lukla, I found a, a plane which was flying to Kathmandu right now. So the plane is just waiting for me and others. See you in Kathmandu. Anyway, thanks for watching my adventure. Cheers.